the Joe Rogan experience. Wasn't that Ric Flair? What's that? NWA. It was Ric Flair, and then they want him to go yeah, yeah, WWF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Picture of him but right it was here too it. late. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Woo! Dude, I have Ric Flair t-shirts now. You should. You should. Ric Flair is a bad motherfucker. I'm trying to get him on my show. Yeah. You should have him on here. Yeah, I would love to have him on here. Rick, if you're out, you're out there, sir, open invitation. Dude. But uh, when I'm into wrestling Have you now. seen that video of uh, the football players in the green room? Yes. Or repeat, in the, the like, locker room? Yes. Repeating it and then in between Rick, the nature boy, Flair saying it back no, and I forth. No, I haven't seen that. You I haven't just, seen no, it? No, please bring that up, James. <laughs> See if you can find it. It's, uh, I forget the team that was doing it, but they were yelling out his slogan and in between. Limousine Rick, riding, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tuxedo wearing. And I'm having a hard time <laughs> keeping these gators down. Yes. Here it is, here it is. Right. Give it to me for the beginning. Rolex wear. Woo! Diamond ring wear. Diamond <laughs> ring wear. Woo! Wheel and deal it. Woo! Limousine ride. Woo! Jet fly. Woo! Son of a gun. Son of a gun. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> now they did this and then they spliced it in with Ric Flair. See if you can find that. It's them saying one line and then Ric Flair saying the second line and then going back to them. It's I'm fucking having a hard amazing. time holding these alligators down. Yeah, dude, it's fucking amazing. I don't think that's it. See if you can. There's a video out there. Someone has it. Dude, I've never Someone been... Someone send it to Jamie on Twitter. I've Should never be been right more here. moved by a documentary than when I watch this, this 30 is for 30. This is it. <laughs> Diamond ring, wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine right, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. <laughs> 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 ah, the greatest! Uh, I mean, that gets when me it comes to up. just someone like... A catchphrase, like Dude. someone saying something that just that just gives you goosebumps and makes you fire it up and make you start fucking clapping. Dude. Dude, to this day, if you say Ric Flair on stage and hold the microphone out, the whole audience will go, Woo! Even in Australia. While Matthews yeah. was like balls deep with that guy gouging his eyes out, you heard, Woo! Yeah, dude. Everybody. All over the world. All over the world. But it, it's a, uh, like an amazing, weird occurrence that happens every now and then, where a guy just nails something and becomes a part of pop culture forever. But think about it. Floyd, Connor, they're all ripping off from him. That's where they got it. Remember, he was way before all of them. <laughs> well... It's a Muhammad Ali it's a was version. before him, though. Muhammad Ali was talking shit like that in the 1960s. Not like that, though, right? Not like oh. boasting about what his riches and like in, you know what I'm Are saying in women. Me? Did not, you ever, not to that level. Oh my god! Not to that level. Did though, you ever, right, Joe? Dude, Muhammad Ali would write poems. I know poems, but not about money and splurging and limousines and bitches and alligators. Well, maybe not wrote, about like, bitches and alligators, wrote, but about, about how great his, he was. It's different, though. He, he talked about how great he was, how he's finished men around, stuff like yeah. that. I've seen that. I'm saying as far as like boasting and, and that almost that, that low level um, where, where you rags to riches. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Maybe he did. I don't know, but I know he would belittle people to no end. You For know, sure. Like he said about Jimmy Terrell, he said, if Jimmy Terrell ever dreams, he beats me. He better wake up and apologize. Like what? He, would, he would say shit. He's was a poet. Terrell, who he fought? You said that? Whoever he's fought. I thought it was the Frazier where he said if he even dreams about beating me. Right? I don't no, no. think it was, but I mean, there were so many of those fucking interviews where he talked so much crazy shit. He would talk shit, but I'm talking. Yeah, give me some. The world's greatest. He must fall in five rounds, but if you talk about me, I'll cut it three. I'll never fight another fella as tough as Doug Jones. Not even that big, ugly, bear son of Lister. Is he your next fight? Well, after I annihilate this Henry Coop, I want that bear. And what's going to happen to him? I want him bad. What's going to happen to him? He might be great, but he'll fall in eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the prettiest sight in the ring today. That's my label. <laughs> he was a smart guy, man. He talked crazy shit. Super smart. I'm too fast. But it was always about his skills. It wasn't like yeah. I have this much money, I have a limo, I have a Rolex. We're like Floyd yeah. and like Rick, yeah, like Rick Flair took true. that to another level. That's true. Right. He took the I'm a rich guy thing to a new level. And right. like bragged about his riches because yeah. he, he's a heel. So he's right. like, I got money. I got right. bitches. I got gators, right. fur coats. What's up? I'm having a hard time <laughs> holding these alligators down. <laughs>